What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today I got something a little bit different for y'all. I have this Amazon mystery card box versus this, you know, store-bought brand name Panini football box. And I just wanted to do a little comparison, see which one's better. They are roughly the same price, just a couple dollars difference. This has 100 cards, this has 90. So I tried to get everything as close as could be price, the amount of cards, just a little bit of everything. So without further ado, let's just hop into this. And I think I'm going to start with the Amazon box just because it's Amazon and why not? So I'll just move this one to the side for now. And this is from Cosmic Sports Cards. It's someplace in Vegas. I don't know if you can see the lettering right there. This is a new camera angle for me. So I'm just trying to figure stuff out as I go. And one of the fun things I did read about these mystery boxes on Amazon is there's guaranteed to be at least two like jersey memorabilia cards or two autograph cards or like one of each. So no matter what, I think they call them like hit cards or something, there will be two of them. And another fun thing is it'll be like from like all the years, like there's no like, like that football box that I just said is just from like 2022, but this could have cards from the 80s, 90s, 2000s, just whenever across the spectrum. But enough talking, let's just get this open. Uh, yeah, I'm interested to find out what 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 we're gonna get and if anything cool happens, if any cool cards. The boxing's interesting. Just throw that out there. Now you get to watch me struggle opening a box for hopefully not too long. What the heck? I don't wanna just like rip it open. Or if that's what I'm supposed to do. No, maybe right here. Yikes. It's already a disaster. No, I'm just playing. I think I got it. It's packaged definitely interestingly. Okay. And there, there's some packing peanuts in there. You get a nice side profile of all the cards. So let me just... So yeah, that's very cool if you wanted packing peanuts in a box of cards. So let me just get these out of here. That's really interesting. Oh, wow. Right off the bat on top. I don't know if you can see this. It is a boom right there, right off the top two autographs. This is rookie Riley Cooper from 2010. I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea who Riley Cooper is. I don't know if he panned out well in the league or not, but yeah, 97 out of 499. That's definitely, that's super cool. Nice little chrome shiny card. It's already in its little card case. So yeah, that's, that's really cool. Autograph right off the top. Set that aside right up there. And we got Players Inc. Authentic Chicago Bears quarterback, Cade Mc, McNown. Also, I don't know what year this guy's from. Upper deck. Trying to. Wow. 1999. So, yeah, this guy was drafted before I was even born. So, that's probably why I have absolutely no idea who he is. Definitely a cool card. So, like I said, 2010, 1999. So, the spread on these cards is just from, you know, all across the board. So, that that is very cool. Two autographs right off the start. I'll put these guys up here in the corner uh, so you can see them all game or whatever. And then, yeah, I'm going to actually separate this deck into two and move this part off screen so it's not just one thing and it's like wow richard sherman with the 49ers this is i know it's definitely a newer card uh richard sherman part of that legion of boom in seattle so this is after he went to san francisco obviously this is a really nice card this came from the year 2018 so yeah like i said the spread on these cards is kind of insane but so we'll just set him down mark brunel this is another old looking card i have no idea when it's from this is 2002. Wow. So yeah, but I do like that card art. I think that's pretty cool. Have no idea who it is. Here's an old one. Brad Edelman from the Saints. Definitely no idea who it is. Ooh, Patrick Ramsey. See, you know, this one's old because it's the Redskins right there. No longer the Redskins. They're the commanders now. So yeah, that's definitely cool. Got a sideways card for the Colts. Ken Dilger. 
I'm not going to lie. I have no clue who that is, but that's definitely cool. I like these order cards. And that's another fun thing is uh, you've seen them progress through the years. Score, Calais Campbell. So this is when he was with the Jaguars. And I'm going to be honest, back in like 2010 to 2012, back in school, we used to collect cards. And that was like one of the things my friend group did is like we, ha- we had all these football cards. And if, hey, if you want to see my little mini collection that I have, just hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and maybe I'll show it off. But score, that was one of my favorite brands. Like I thought the card art for them was really cool. And maybe towards the end of this video, I'll whip out one of like my two favorite cards that I have. So yeah, Clay's Camp- Campbell from score. Okay, now this is cool. Mike Evans season ticket from like that. That's really cool right there. That Buccaneers card. I like that. Keyshawn Johnson, another Buccaneer back to back. And you can't even see it, but there's like an imprint of the Tampa Bay logo right there. That's that's really cool. I like the card art of these. John Star- Stallworth, receiver for the Steelers. Don't know who it is. LeVar Arrington, another Redskin. Harold Landry, a rookie card from the Titans. Yeah, these cards are really nice. Eddie George, another Titan right off the bat. So, wow. Roy Williams, Cowboy. That's that's a cool card. 2003, the year I was born. What is this? Willie McGinnis, Patriots rookie card. Wow. Willie McGinnis. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure he might be in the Hall of Fame, but I'm not sure. Paul Perkins, no idea who he is. George Kittle, that's another, like the Mike Evans card that I just got. Here, get these out of the way. Hopefully you can see these cards pretty well. Tevin Coleman, kicker. Eric Martin Saints, another old car. This is a cool card. Vaughn Miller for when he was with the Broncos. Tyler Lockett. So, yeah, these season ticket cards are pretty cool. Like, I'm a fan of these. I think they look very nice. Shaquille Griffin. Rookie card, Trayvon Mullen. He's probably in the league right now. Yeah, this is a 2019 card, but I don't know why that name's not really ringing a bell. Maybe, I have no idea. Eric Ebron. Steve McNair, there we go. Playoff honors. This is a little bit of an older card, but McNair. Yeah, 2002, it looks like. That's that's a nice little card. Cowboys. Who is this? I have no idea who this is. Ismail? It just says Ismail. I have no idea. So, Cowboys fans, if you're watching this and you know who this is, that's cool. Skip Hicks, another Washington Redskins card. Jeff Garcia, I know that's an older one. Steven Davis, another Redskins. Wow. So if you guys like old cards that, uh, you know, older teams, then yeah, this is definitely like a pack for you. Like if so, if you're not a fan of the name change and you want some classic old Redskins cards, then yeah, this pack's definitely for you. Wow, this card is really cool. It says peel off. Huh. Jim Everett. Yeah, that card's really cool. From... 1997, it says right there. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but wow, that's that's this is really cool. Nice shiny card. Brunel, another one of these uh, cards. Man, these are really cool. Gerald Davis, 2003. Wow, another little shiny Robert Smith card. These are these are cool. Jimmy Smith. Oh, they got the classic Jaguars logo. Deuce McAllister, Cleveland Browns, Terry Kirby. Man, I'm a Browns fan, and I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know who this guy is, but that's still, these cards are cool. Man, I think the older cards look better than cards we get nowadays. Another one of these. Steelers, Antoine Randall L. I know he had that catch in the Super Bowl. Don't even know who that guy is. A lot of these shiny cards. I'm trying to get a nice little shine for y'all on camera. Shannon Sharp, Ravens. So definitely old because he's, you know, has his own talk show now. Mike Zomzak. Don't even know who that is. This card might be backwards. No. Wow. That's how that card is. 
has some stats on it. Cincinnati Bengals. This must be like a team card or something. That's interesting. Sean Foster. Mark Ingram. Oh, just hit my little mount. Ron Rivera. There you go. He's a coach in the league now. But yeah, there's his Chicago Bears linebacker card. That's another thing is like these older cards have like a more cardboardy feel to them. Whereas the newer cards have like a more glossy like plastic. Steve McNair. Carson Palmer. Use this. I'm not even going to attempt that name, but that's a cool looking card. Mark Kelslow. Joe Adams. Also don't know who it is. Jack Kez Green, another red skin. And David Carr, shiny. Yeah. So that's that was even that was just stack one. There's still a whole like another little stack that I've yet to go over with y'all. So let me put that aside. Boom. We got stack number two. Dallas Clark. One of Peyton Manning's Peyton, yeah, Peyton Manning's targets. Trying to take a little too much. Daryl Green, another red skin. So yeah, if if you guys like the classic cards of like classic teams, then these are definitely for you. Another just old Dolphin, Adrian Murray. Oh, I accidentally grabbed two. Heinz, wow, do you see this? Heinz Ward, Prestige 1998. This is his college. I didn't know he went to Georgia. Well, that's actually really cool. Heinz Ward was one of those players that I remember watching in the league. So, yeah, that's actually really cool. For these guys that I don't really know, I'm just going to kind of speed through this. Vinny Testerverde, okay. Trufant, Mike Alslot. If you play Madden, you know this who this guy is. Another Carson Palmer card. This one, this one's pretty cool. It's got that tiger up there in the corner. I don't know if you can see it right there. That's yeah, that's definitely a cool card. Old Devin Broncos. Kirk Morrison. Don't know who this is, but that's kind of a cool card. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised there's no, like, uh, Oilers or anything like that in here. James Devlin, don't know who that is, sorry. Sidney Rice, he was, I remember watching him play towards the end of his career. Dante Stallworth, pretty sure I already pulled a Dante Stallworth card. And I don't know why this one's wrapped up. It came with a little wrap, that's cool, I guess. Huh. Greg Ellis. I don't know who that is. I'm just going to kind of speed through some of these guys. Sanders. Matt Breida. Ben Roethlisberger franchise card. For y'all Steelers fans out there. This is from 2004, so that was very early in his career. I don't know who th some of these guys are. Chad Henney. Pretty sure he's Patrick Mahomes back up right now. Frank Reich. Wait, Frank Reich. Pretty sure, that, you know, he's a coach now too. So, he's got some old coaches player cards with Reich and Rivera. Who's this? Keith. Yeah, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that name. If you can see it right there. Getting into the land of I don't really know who most of these players are. Near the end of the pack, too. So, Jason Witten, 2010 All Pro. Josh Freeman. Carlos Dansby. Old Dolphins logo right there. I'm, I like the old Dolphins logo, by the way. Muhammad Massaquai. Ooh, look at this card. Fred Bolitnikoff. It's a mosaic, kind of like a Topps chrome looking card. That's, that's really cool, nice and shiny. He's an old timer for the Raiders. This card, though, came out in 2021. So, the card itself isn't old, but I know he's kind of like one of those classic old players. Then I have no idea who that is. So yeah, boom. That that was 
I want to say it's like these all these boxes were like under 30 bucks and that was like the Amazon box. The only downfall I see of like this box compared to others is if you like ripping open the packs then yeah, I could see why you'd want just a normal box. But yeah, you get some autograph cards. Let me show you one more time. We got this nice rookie Riley Cooper autograph card, shiny and Cade McCown, who I have no idea who it is, but Bears fans, if you know, then good, I guess. So yeah, we'll put that to the side and bring in the 2022 NFL trading card box. So let's just cut this open. That right there. Oh, there's nothing. Just kidding. See, they like to have fun with you. Then boom, you got all your packs. So that's cool. I'm actually just going to take all these packs out of here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you get six packs. And I'll just throw this over there. Here. I don't know what that is. It is a... I think it's like a little chip that has nothing to do with cards whatsoever. So I'm just... And we'll put the packs right there. And let's get to this. So yeah, definitely if you like up like just ripping open packs and stuff, then I definitely recommend going with like the newer ones. Boom, Denzel Ward right off the bat. He's got the alternative helmets and jerseys on for the Browns, the like anniversary ones. So first pool, Cleveland Brown. That's good. Tyree Kill. He just came out and said he wanted to play for, or try to go to the Browns before his trade. So that that was definitely interesting. Matt Ryan, currently looking for a team. Josh Jacobs, he just had a great year. Oh, turning around. Cam Akers, Bud Dupree, Ronnie Lott. Oh, so here's like a legend card, I guess, because he definitely played in the good old days. Panay Sewell, turn it back around. Why do they do that? Why do they like put some cards in like right side up, other cards not right side up? If you guys know, please let me know because I've always been curious of that. Ever since uh, I've opened packs, I've always wondered why. Eric Kendricks, Devonta Smith, had a great year. Definitely pick him up in fantasy football if you guys play. Miles Gaskin, Chase Young, here we go, Washington Commanders. Channing Tindall, rookie rated, so rookie card right here. And these are 2022, so the rookie class will be of last year's. And then, oh, wow. Gal Calvin Thibodeau. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but I know who it is. The Giants. Yeah, that's a nice shiny card right there. Get a nice. Yeah, that card's really cool. Oh, it's numbered, actually, out of 100. I don't know if you can see that if my camera's picking it up or not. Yeah, that's definitely a really cool card. So pack one down. Put these off to the side over here. Got pack number two ready. So if you like ripping open the packs, I definitely recommend just getting like a newer box or a box that you're guaranteed to just open packs, I suppose. But if you know you want guaranteed autographs or the chance of guaranteed like memorabilia or jersey cards, then the mystery box is definitely a uh, interesting way to go. Got Sam Hubbard, Nick Chubb, probably my favorite player in the league. I actually have a signed Nick Chubb jersey in my room, which I'm trying to make like the background of my channel, like the backdrop of when I record, but I just haven't found a solid place. <laughs> Bradley Chubb, so we got the Cousins back-to-back. -back. Laramie Tunsil just came the highest paid offensive lineman. DeAndre Hopkins is cool. Christian Kirk. Ooh, Walter Payton. So I wonder if they're putting kind of like a legend card in all these boxes. Turn it back around. Elijah Moore, who actually just got traded to the Cleveland Browns. T. Higgins, just changed his number to number five. Pollard, probably be the feature back in Dallas this year with Ezekiel Elliott going. Stephon Diggs. Bo Mountain, not going to lie, I've never heard of this guy. Jameson Williams, there we go. Another rookie card. Then, oh, wow, Don Russ, 2002, Steve Young. So, multiple legends in this pack. 
I know it says 2002, but the card was still made in 2022, if you can see right there. So yeah, definitely. So hey, maybe if you like cards throughout the ages, then you don't have to go for the older mystery pack. You can just get one of these packs, and if, if that's something they're doing now, then that's that's great. So get rid of these packs, just throw them on the floor, I guess. Jake Matthews, lineman. Darren Waller, who's now a giant. Derek Brown, Darwin James, Davis Mills, Aaron Jones, probably be without Aaron Rodgers this year, Darius Leonard, I think he changed his name from Darius Leonard though, right? Like he wants to be called something else, like his actual name, because that was like his middle name, can't remember what it is, Eric Dickerson, another legend card, Dallas Goddard, Raekwon Davis, Michael Gallup, Harrison Smith, see who the rookie card in this pack is, Arnold Hebecki, crap, I can't, I, I know he came from Penn State, because I watched a lot of Penn State games, so I know who this is, but I can't pronounce his name, Sky Moore, vital part of that Chiefs offense, and Tyquan Thornton, oh wow, look at that, nice little shiny new rookie card, so that's two new rookie card, two shiny, because we got the uh, this one too, so that's cool. Definitely like the shiny cards, not that. We'll just put those off to the side and move along. We got our final three packs. Oh, boom, right off the bat, there we go. Tom the Goat Brady. Jeremiah Wusu Kormoa, another Cleveland Brown right there. Patrick Sertain, Cal Pitts, Derrick Henry, Fred Warner, probably the best linebacker in the league in my opinion, Homer St. Brown, Jonathan Greenland, Eli Manning, how did Eli Manning get in here? I'm, oh, the legend cards, yeah, so we got nice Eli Manning, Tua, Jonathan Allen, probably that Washington defensive line is probably one of the best in the league. I like that, like their defensive line, the Eagles defensive line, Devin McCourty. For some reason, I could have sworn McCourty retired, but like I said, this was last year's set. Get to the rookie cards. We got Martin Emerson, Cleveland Browns. In my opinion, being a Browns fan, I definitely think he was a steal getting him in the third round and him earning that starting outside role. So Cal Hamilton, first round pick from the Ravens. And we got Russell Wilson. This is like a throwback card. Don Russ, 1992. So I think they took the old style. But yeah, that's definitely really cool. Having that Russell Wilson old looking card. All right, final two packs. Just kind of set those up there. Sorry. Looked away and I wasn't opening them on screen no more. Just throw that on the ground. Oh, Drew Brees right off the gate. So... Legend card right off the bat. Tony Romo, two legends. John Elway, huh. What pack am I opening right now? Is this just like a Legends quarterback thing? John Elway, Tony Romo, Mike Vick, Kurt Warner. What? This is really cool. And then Buda Baker. Why'd you have to ruin a Buda Baker? No, I'm just, I'm just playing. Did get chased down by DK Metcalf, though. AJ Brown, Eli Mitchell. There we go, Jamar Chase. Ezekiel Elliott, talked about him a little bit earlier. Gabriel Davis, Jalen Rieger, Patrick Queen, and I'm pretty sure the rookie cards will come next. Yep, Brandon Smith, don't know who that is. Jordan Davis, nice defensive lineman. And, oh, kid, kid reporter for the Super Bowl. Whoa, that already happened. So, yeah, you, I'm, I think this card's just trash. <laughs> so, all right, we're down to the last pack. So, no, no autographs and no like jersey cards in this. So, if that's something that you're adamant about getting like in packs, because I know I used to think it was normal like getting them in packs. Got Hunter Renfro, Brian Burns, Joey Bosa, Cameron Brait. Probably hold them up a little bit closer. Roquan Smith, Nico Collins, Aaron Rodgers, DeForest Buckner, 
C.D. Lamb, Anthony Barr, Dexter Lawrence, Mike Gusecki, Carson Strong. Let's see, who this is Zamir White, and boom, Kenneth Walker. So, and that concludes the actual uh, football box. So. Like I said, if you like the packs, like just rip it open the packs, then I definitely suggest go with the new box. But if you like the chance of autographs or like jersey cards, then the other box, like I said, the price points are very similar. And this, the card, actual card box, you get 90. The mystery one, you get 100. So they're really like neck and neck. Price wise is very similar. Uh, card count is very similar. So if you're just looking to add a bunch of cards, and you don't care what year, then definitely I suggest going with like the Amazon mystery box. And if you like the new stars with a, like the current players, then I definitely recommend going with the new packs, obviously. But since we didn't get any cool pulls in the new box, I thought, you know, why not make this a whole half hour video and show you some of my personal favorites from my collection that I've accumulated through the years. So, off the start, I don't know if you can see these well, but we got like Kendall Wright, Ronnie Harrison, who sadly passed away. And then down here, I had a rookie RG3 jersey card right there, number two pick in the draft. And I had number three pick in the draft, Trent Richardson. And I, like I said, this was when I collected, it was like 2012. And I always wanted Andrew Lux just because of having the one, two, and three, which I always thought was interesting. So there's those guys. And I have some more. We'll go in right here. Had a rookie Miami Dolphins 2012, Ryan Tannehill, which, hey, he doesn't even play for them anymore, but he's one of the stars. Like, well, he might be on his way out of Tennessee, but he's definitely helped them a lot. Let's see what else. So I don't know how many of y'all would remember, but I have this card right here, Mario Manningham. It's a rookie autograph signature card from 2008 he made that sideline catch in the super bowl with uh eli manning and i always remembered from remembered him from that and these have probably my favorite card art of like all time i guess is score 2010 like this is beanie wells but i just think like the way it kind of like splashes the color and whatever it was really cool so i have him and I actually have right here this score rookie Des Bryant card, which I always thought was super cool. And moving on. If we go right here, I'm not going to take these ones out, but I had a Ryan Fitzmagic Buffalo Bills jersey card, which I thought was cool. And got a Chris Sims here, which not, not as cool in my opinion, but hey, we still had it. If you go... Very next page, we got Jabril Peppers when he played for the Browns, Cameron Wake with the Dolphins, Jordan Howard, the running back, but when he was with Oklahoma, which I always thought was cool, and a Daryl Henderson one. And those are just some of those are just some of my uh, interesting football jersey cards I've gotten over the years. Just as a way to close out this video, I hope you all have a good day. And hey, make sure you stay tuned because I plan on doing this with baseball and hockey too. So if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot and like this video and have a good day and God bless.